Tell us your Sam story. And All then right. write your name. Can yes. you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I was listening to um, it was uh, I think I think it was the latest um, jail call drop, and Sam is telling Ed he's giving he's giving Ed all the um, like a breakdown of the latest news in the community or whatever, and he tells him how he's like Mitch obviously hates you, and he's like he was on the other panel bragging about and there were uh, you know you you let him up on your panel and now they're they're all <laughs> celebrating it. And uh, I just think it was like a t total misre misrepresentation of things. And so, yeah, I just think uh, Ed Ed has people feeding him stuff, you know, and it's going through their filter and their own interpretation. Clown Force was doing the same thing to him, I noticed. So, what's your what's your what's your uh, Sam story, Locke? So my Sam story is basically he was talking to Edward about personal shit that he had no fucking business talking about. And, it and this was on those calls? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Sam is like a little uh, kind of a gossip girl. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. He's just running his suck about shit that I talked to him about that has nothing to do with Ed, has nothing to do with anything. I don't know what his problem is. Like, why would you bring that up? Hmm. Like, what oh, Locksmith did this, did gossiping like some woman or something. What the fuck? What did he say about you? I missed it. So I was going to ask him for some financial. I had, a, I had a financial thing that I had a question about. And it was a, it was a simple thing. It wasn't anything serious. But I ended up not asking him. I didn't even get the advice. But I asked him, hey, can you can you help me with this? piece of advice and he's like yeah blah 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 and I'm like okay cool and I, I'm glad I never asked him now but why would you tell somebody else that and then of course they're they're all like making all these accusations and shit and it pissed me off I don't like that yeah, yeah it sounds like Sam betrayed a trust uh. I mean, in a way, it's not like a huge deal, but yeah, dude, like in a way, it's like, bro, why are you telling Edward that I asked you for some uh, uh, business advice? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I didn't like it. Yeah, that's, that's, my that's different that's than uh, talking about what happened on a public panel. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll just say this. Um, I was trying to like, you know, uh, like be somewhat ethical where... You know, I wasn't gonna dox it or whatever, this or that, and I won't. Um, like I've I've never looked into any information. Um, not going to. Um, and also, was, uh, I was, I was saying like maybe because I genuinely did think it that uh, Warbot is disabled or whatever. But if he's not, then I would just say whatever the fuck that is coming to them, bring it the fuck on. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not going to be averse to that or whatever, because, you know, um, it's like the way Ed has made it so that I'm subject to dealing with something that is already very difficult and to be attacked on the Internet for, um, like, fuck him and anything that's coming to him. Like, I, I don't care. I have no regret for his life. So apparently that apparently somewhere in those sixty calls, there's like could potentially be an el an element of criminal conspiracy, um, and apparently Predcatcher Drama is in contact with the lawyers to see um, if the crimes should be reported to their respective jurisdictions. Criminal conspiracy. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck Jonathan, fuck anyone that supports them. Like they're all scumbag pieces of shit. Like fuck fuck all of them. I completely agree, man. I completely yeah. agree. Fuck like I'm not them, gonna man. do the grimy shit myself, but honestly, if it happens or even more grimy shit to them, you know, I'm not you know I'm not uh I'm looking the other way. 